Dublin is the host city for the 2009 European Winners Dog Show. It is the first time an international show has been held in Ireland. There are over 4,000 dogs competing from 19 different countries. Judges have been selected from 20 countries worldwide. We meet Michael Code, a professional breeder who specializes in Bichon Frieze. He won Best in Show three times at Crufts, the world's largest dog show. Together with his partner Jeff Korish, they are well-known competitors on the international circuit. And one of their most prized show dogs, Paplona, could it be magic, won Best in Breed at Crufts in 2008. You know, you put all this work into it, so I would like to win. I don't come along to get second. Jackie Knowles and her family from County Wicklow show and breed dogs for a hobby. They've won numerous champion and best in breed titles, but have never won best in show. Could today be the day? If you're doing a hobby or a sport, you put as much into it as you can, and you know, you give it everything, so if that makes you fanatical, then I suppose, yes, we are fanatics. Sean Delmar is president of the Irish Kennel Club, a voluntary position done purely for the love of dog and country. Today he will be judging the most coveted prize of the competition, best in show. It's great to have this type of power in your hands, you know, it really is. Now I'm looking forward to it. My name is Jackie Knowles and this is my family. This young man, this is Harvey, and he's uh, an English Cocker Spaniel. Harvey's been shown in the intermediate class today. How are you doing? Are you coming out? Hayley will be showing our Hungarian Vizsla. Hey. This is Rio. He's doing well. He's top Hungarian Vizsla for the last two years here in Ireland. Everybody's here to win. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Percy's showing our English Springer Spaniel. This is James. He's an English Springer Spaniel and he's five years old. He's an Irish show champion. He doesn't really want to be filmed. <laughs> but this is his flower. When he won Best Gun Dog a couple of years ago at a show over here, my mum bought it for him and he carries it everywhere ever since. It's his lucky charm, really. <laughs> Sam is actually involved with stewarding today in the main ring. Barry's here to support us. For Jackie and the girls, the family that grows together, shows together. Jackie has been showing dogs for 13 years, and her daughters all started from the age of 10. So on days like this, it's a real family affair. Michael is showing two Bichon Frise today. It's a breed he introduced to Ireland 30 years ago. The dogs, the everything. I'm very lucky, my hobby is my living. Couldn't or wouldn't want to do anything else. If you have a good dog and you've got confidence in your dog, you'll just go everywhere, campaign them, and you will win. A good dog will always win. The secret is to get here early. No point getting late, because you start panicking, you're rushing, so you've got to be calm as you possibly can. Just get your work done, just, just get on with it. And then you're ready, the dog is ready. You're relaxed and the dog is relaxed and there's no rushing around. Sean also starts his day early, checking that all competitions are running smoothly and on time, and mingling with dog owners and judges. Will you win? Ah, oh, that's not fair. Number one, number one. I think every dog, they all have different personalities and we who are involved in this sport like to think that there's a dog breed nearly for everybody. And a lot of it's to do with your own temperament and your own personality and what you like. For instance, now I'd be very keen on our history in Ireland, so I choose myself a uh, Kerry Blue because it's a traditional Irish breed. And I see a lot of the things that maybe I'd like to be myself in it. Plenty of attitude, a little bit of style, you know, good with people but not to be messed with too. So I'd like, to, I'd like to be like that. So maybe that's why I chose the Kerry Blue myself. We're a split company now. 
Hayley and Kirsty are going into the marquee here now into their rings and I've actually got to go into the industries hall with the cockers. See you later. Bye. The girls are at an age now, I mean they've been shown for so many years. They know the routine off by heart and quite honestly sometimes you're happier to go off and just show and get on with it. Nervous? Really? No, um, excited. There's um, a lot of foreign dogs over. Obviously the European winners show they've got a lot of Europeans over, so excited to see what that brings. They say when you stop feeling nervous, it's a time to give up. So you, you always get that feeling, you know, a worry. But you enjoy it. It's a buzz as well. It's an adrenaline rush. And if you have a good day, there's nothing like it. I'm showing my two Cocker Spaniels. I'm showing Harvey and also Izzy. But it's quarter to nine now. Time's getting on. I really need to go and get changed. Michael is also showing two French bulldogs for one of his clients. Morning, how are you? Oh, God, I'm mighty. Just try to get them to stretch their legs before you show them, that's all. Always bring some bags with you in case there's a bit of an accident. Because a lot of people give dog people a bad name by not picking up after themselves, that's the problem. You can tell a good dog, because every dog has got a breed standard. You can tell a good dog. Come on. But, you know, they're not machines, so all you can do is hope that they'll perform on the day. But, you know, some dogs have off days, some dogs really go for it. But, I mean, a born show dog is just the greatest thing you can get. My actual job is a professional handler. And when Michael moved to England, he had a grooming business. And um, he found it difficult going to, to dog shows. And he had a Bichon, which was a very nice dog. But be and and think of each other barking all day long. I'd be better if I hadn't brought you dogs to the dog show. You might be happy then. Well, I'm sorry, but we don't have to listen to that barking all day long. You've been listening to it all day long. It's only nine o'clock. Well, they've never stopped barking since they've been here. Oh, don't be so stupid. I only just lifted the front up two seconds ago. I'm sorry, the lady came around before and covered the old floors because he was still barking. Well, I'm not going home, so you can put that in your pipe and talk. You're going to send me home with all these dogs just because it's annoying you. Cheeky, you dog. Oh, I was asking if you could cover them over, that's all. I'm trying to get them out. How can I get them out if they're covered up? You get all walks of life. You get the fun people, you can get the people a bit off the wall. Some people get a bit uptight, as you probably just saw a second ago. Um, you just get on with it. Just get on with it, let them blow. And they're probably a bit uptight themselves trying to get the dogs ready. And, just ignore. It's an amateur sport in Ireland. Other countries it's professional and professional people show dogs. And when I say amateur, it's just the people are not paid and so on. They're all hobby breeders. Maybe crazy, maybe mad, but it's what we do. To get a dog up to the level of where you'd think you'd be capable of winning, say, uh, uh, championship points or something international or competing at a high level that you're getting here, it requires a lot of sacrifice and personal dedication. Anybody that thinks they get in and they're going to make a fortune out of it, it's just not going to happen. The inoculations, the breeding, the veterinary fees and the cost of feeding, the amount of time hours that you have to put in yourself and the energy into it and all. If everything went your way, from the time you bought the pup to the time you actually deliver and get your final point for your championship title. And this is a ballpark figure, but I just throw one at you. I'd say about maybe seven, eight grand. It's a lot of money, you know. You always try and put your dog in the ring in the best condition it could, can be in, you know? But dogs are like teenagers. They go through awkward stages. It's like Harvey is actually 15 months old now. And he's actually in a teenage stage, so you actually won't see the finished dog until he's about two. Even, even though we've bathed and trimmed and groomed them at home, you find that once their coat settles down, there's always little bits to come off that wouldn't be sticking out other times, you know? There's always finishing trimming to do with them. 
good boy, aren't they? Over in the gun dog arena, Haley hopes her dog Rio will impress the judges. His show name is um, show champion Bic Bicon Octavius. He's the only one in his class, so hopefully he wins the class if he gets graded excellent. Once you get out of your class, you've got your Kasib winner, and then you go for a best of breed and green star, and then you've got your gun dog group, and then you've got best in show, but just don't think about that until it happens, if it happens. Coming up in part two, Jackie and Harvey take to the ring. He's such a good boy, because he's not the bravest of dogs, and if anybody would be upset easily, it would be Harvey. Sean meets the ladies. My oh my, you're such a good looking woman. Good luck. And will Pamplona and Mr. Chips be a winner for Michael and Jeff? She's just looking at them. I don't know what she's looking for now. With over 4,000 dogs competing at the European Winners Dog Show, Michael checks out the competition. Because there's a lot of foreign dogs here, we don't know who they are, we haven't seen photographs. So if it was like in England, or if you see them every week, you've got a pretty rough idea who you're up against. But you don't here, it's all, all new. There's lovely dogs here today. That lady's got lovely dogs, the lady with the pink jacket. I judged Crofts last year, and I gave him the Reserve CC, which is the second top award a dog can get. He's competition, he's beaten me before. I've beaten him, he's beaten me. He's a lovely dog. And she puts them down very well. I've got to go because she's in the ring. See you later. This is quite an unusual, one of the more popular newer breeds now here. And this is called a Coton de Toulier. It sounds like some shop off Grafton Street, I know. But Coton, as you can imagine, is cotton. So the texture of the coat in this breed is very important. And you might notice when the judge is feeling it, they kind of roll their fingers around the coat, and that's to establish the texture that it won't spring and things like that. These smaller breeds are very uh, performance related, so a dog that's quite lively and moves quite well is going to make a big difference too. The judge would like to see the way the dog moves front and back, so they'd like to see that the front legs are kind of going in a parallel line and not crisscrossing, and also side on, that the actual shape of the dog is maintained. Let's see how the judge from Israel, Yolanda, what she thinks of this. I'm looking after the head. I'm looking after the pigmentation. It's a white dog and for his health is necessary to be a black pigmentation around the eye, around the nose, around the mouth. Correct movement is very important. If the dog doesn't want to walk today, he cannot win. Maybe tomorrow. Excellent. The lady who's judging Bichons today is from Israel, and her name is Mrs. Yolanda Nagler. Yolanda Nagler, does sound good, doesn't it? Yeah, Yolanda. Yeah, he's here in there. She's from Greece, though, Israel. No, where's she from? I know absolutely nothing about the lady. Couldn't tell you anything about her. See, now I need a cup of coffee. Haley's dog Rio is in a class of his own, as the only champion Vizsla. All he needs is an excellent grade to qualify for best in breed. Oh yeah, Haley's just going in now. Oh, is she? Yeah. Right. Yeah, she's doing fine. That's good. How are you getting on? Fine, fine. Yeah. You, um, puppy dog's just in, so two classes and then we're in. Don't wind her up. Hey. Don't wind her up. <laughs> When you're at a show, you're always thinking about the girls, what they're up to, are they okay, are the dogs okay over there? Um, once you know they're in the ring, you're wondering what's going on over there. Especially when you're split up, you, you, you can't be in two places at once, and you're just hoping that they're okay, the dogs are showing well for them, and you're getting the result you're hoping for. Thank you very much. Thank you. Rio in the ring didn't carry his tail. Um, the judge saw that as a fault. You have to respect that decision on the day. That's all for Viz today. And then Rio, that's all we'll do. So fingers crossed when the other ones do something better. At the end of the day, I'm taking home the best dog. I love him to bits, so in my eyes, he's the best dog. Rio just gets to sleep now for the rest of the day and enjoy the sunshine.
really very good. Oh. Don't know why. Did he not carry his tail? I don't know. Okay, no problem. So, trials and tribulations. <laughs> Bit disappointing, but a show in for you. I just want to see how many dogs are in the ring. Can you just keep an eye on them? This is my job now. This is what I'm useful for, isn't it, Harv? Hey. How are you doing? Nice to see you over there. Yes, thank you. The last time I saw you, we were over in your own country of Norway. Oh, yeah? yes. You do a lot of winning over there? Oh, yes, I do. And what dog do you think you have that you think you might get this title with today? Is there one in particular? Maya. So you think this is your best chance, yes? Oh, yes, I hope yeah. so. Okay. It's a Falen, and it's my own breed, and its name is Fritens Mayo Mai. My oh my, yes. you're such a good looking woman. <laughs> As a breeder of champion show dogs, Michael knows just what it takes to produce a winner. You can help them along, but it is breeding. There's no two ways about that. Every breed has got a breed standard. And you want a nicely balanced dog. Snow white coat, good pigment, pretty head. Good tail set and a neck. Good length of neck. You know, you put all this work into it, so I would like to win. I don't come along to get second. It'd be nice if we won with something. Jackie's first competition is with Harvey, her cocker spaniel. He's in the intermediate class for younger dogs. He's such a good boy, because he's not the bravest of dogs, and if anybody would be put off or upset easily, it would be Harvey. But he, he always pulls out the stops, and he showed really well for me. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was great. He was great and excellent, and we won our class, so delighted. Good start. Harv, sorry. You get a nice certificate. There's no cash money. It's just one step on the way. Up. Yeah, there's no, you know. <laughs> it's just, I bred him myself and it's, it's, it's really nice to come to the European Winner Show and win your class. Anything after that's a bonus. And he's just such a cool dog. <laughs> you develop a relationship with the dog and your idea is that you want to get the best results you can and as many titles as possible and you want to be respected by your peers in the dog game and that's really what we go for because you're not going to form a bond with a dog like over a number of years and then say oh great somebody's offered me five grand you know I'll pocket that goodbye nice seeing you it, it just doesn't happen that way can, can you show us show us your big winning dog right no. The champion. She was made up today. And she got best, best to breed. Is this, this the one that you had uh, that you used to win with some years ago that you retired, right? right? Did. So what just had you this thing in your mind that you had to show her today or because yes, it's the because European it's the show? Euro show. Right, yeah. I had, she hadn't been out for about four years, and that's right. Michael. Yes, Michael bred both the of these. Right, yeah. And uh, was there dogs here from other parts from there Sweden? Was. Yes. Uh, one that was second to me was from Sweden or Norway. Sweden, yeah. And, and UK? Um, anything from UK? Uh, yes, yes, we beat them as well, I'm delighted to say. You're not showing off by any chance here. <laughs> <laughs> so is this going? like Frank Sinatra, another comeback next year? <laughs> well, from now on, she's coming out. Right. I can tell you. <laughs> she's so she's going, out. going to be the oldest singer in town, yeah. are you? Yeah. Bit like yourself. <laughs> Bit like yourself, <laughs> actually, yes. <laughs> Pamplona and Mr. Chips is looking good. Now it's Jeff's turn to spruce up before going into the ring. Good luck. Watch him. Watch him. This is open dog. She's just looking at them. She'll now ask them to move them around. So he likes to go fast with the dog because the dog moves out. He's going really, really well. I'm very pleased. He's happy. His tail's is looking around. And now she's going to ask him to go on the table. She's now just going over him. Look at his head, his coat, his confirmation. He's looking at the pads, so they are black pigment. I don't know what she's looking for now. 
Okay. Well, you've got an excellent good second. I won't say what I would like to say. <laughs> I thought you were very hard done by. Well, um, he outmoved the rest. He outmoved them, he outshowed, um, and he was better balanced. And they do have to have head carriage, which he had. The dog that won didn't. No. Coming up in part three, Jackie and Izzy face tough competition. Everybody likes to go in the ring hoping they're going to win the best of breed. Only one person today will do that. It's all right, we're getting there. I'm rushing, mad. What do you want me to do? And Michael gets a bit hot under the collar. I'm starting to wilt a bit now. Harvey won his class, so his next challenge is to win the Cassive, a special award given only to dogs of international champion quality. Harvey and Jackie really need to win this if they want to stay in the running. I suppose some people would say, yes, we are fanatical, because when we do something, we go into it full steam ahead. You know, we don't do anything half-hearted. If we're doing it, we try to do it properly. If you're doing a hobby or a sport, you put as much into it as you can and you know, you give it everything. So if that makes you fanatical, then I suppose, yes, we are fanatics. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Thrilled with him, didn't expect that at all. But Kasib Dog, which means he goes on to challenge now for best of breed and green star dog. So like I said, it's one step at a time, but absolutely thrilled to bits with him. I got the casino. Oh, I am so pleased. Thank you. Just gonna put Harv away because I've got to get Izzy out to brush her because she'll be in before I know it, so. The thing about the dogs with us is we love to see our dogs doing well because they're an extra member of your family. And I think anyone who's had dogs or a dog in their family knows how attached you can get to them. Well, how long have you been going out together? <laughs> <laughs> That's true love. So, how did you do today? Rocco took the reserve casino. Who's Rocco? Oh boy! These are Bracco Italiano, a very interesting breed. They're a very ancient breed. Probably the ancestor of a lot of gun dog breeds, Hunt Point and Retrieve, and they're, they're just incredibly good gun dogs. Work. There's only three in Ireland. Only yeah. three in Ireland. Right. Yes. <laughs> This breed have what they call an extended trot. As you see, he gets in a very easy, plenty of front extension movement, you know, and nice power behind. Their head carriage, too, is very kind of noble. And his name? Um, she's called Cully. Cully. As you see on them, the semi-Roman nose. A very interesting breed. Back in the Bichon Freeze category, a Plonac could it be magic, a champion bitch, is Michael's only remaining chance for best in breed. You're a team. You should look good, and your dog should look good. Shell suits, don't do it with me for anything. You gotta look the part. I'm gonna go for this now. Killer cure, I'm going for it. This is my other mother who reared me 30 years ago. I adopted him years ago. This is a wonderful lady, my dearest friend. And we'll be having a drink later. Oh, I'm sorry, it's driven your foot. This one is crucified, so this Yolanda Mantini dog. She's thrown me out, thrown Ashling out. Out. She's given it to a postgraduate piece of She gave the dog to a Russian for a walk now, I need to go for a walk. Michael is the world's worst before he goes in the ring. So he just goes away and just, just chills out and then he'll come back and he'll be fine. Um, yes. <laughs> oh, different ball game, I tell you. Harvey is chilling out with two wins behind him, while Jackie gets his half-sister Izzy ready to perform. 
Izzy is actually in champion bitch today, so we're in the next class with Izzy. Some judges you can follow what they like particular types and you can see where they're going with what they're doing and some you don't. Um, I'm not sure, I mean, he liked her brother, so you hope that he's going to like her as well, you know? You pay for the judge's opinion and you get it. If you win, it's a bonus and if you lose, there's nothing you can do about it. You can't change the judge's opinion, so why get uptight about it? Just take it on the chin and move to the next show. That's all you can do. Oh, she's killing the breeze. Fuck it. Fabulous. No, she's just killing you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Not the most knowledgeable breed person. <laughs> she gave me an excellent. But she just put me second. <laughs> so, that's that one lot finished today. And now we've got to do the French Bulldog. See what happens there. The trouble with standards, it's like everything, they're open to interpretation. And you can write the standards down for the, say for me, the perfect woman that I would have in my mind. And you ask me to do an identicate. Okay, we all know what attractiveness and prettiness and whatever and sex appeal is. But my definition would be quite different maybe, even though we all have a sense of what's beautiful and what isn't. So I think judges, they are interpreting a standard. And some of them will put more emphasis on one point than another. Some of them might say like a certain size of dog and say something is too big. Some of them would like uh, particularly fussy about the expression or the face or the head. Just the mouth, please, the bite. And they all have their own little quirks, which makes for a different opinion. If the best dog that everyone agreed wins all the time, should there be no dog shows? My father was once asked, had he ever bred the, the perfect dog? And he said, yes, I did. And they asked him, well, what did you do? And he said, oh, I never showed him. Sure, if I did, the whole game would be over. It's 12 o'clock. Jackie and Izzy are in the ring. On a day like today, anything could happen. When it comes down to placing, win or lose, so long as your dog's fine, you don't mind. Um, ideally, everybody likes to go in the ring and hoping they're going to win the class. Maybe the Kasib, Green Star, best of breed. Only one person today when the cockers will do that. Graded excellent, main thing, uh, third in the class today. The bitch that beat her is actually an English and Irish champion. Does very well, so happy with that, delighted. Good girl. It's Izzy's finish for today, because she's been beaten, so that, that's her finish. Judge behind me now is Stelius Macaratus from Greece. Stelius has been over with us a number of years before, and he is the top man in the more mastiff type breeds. Now these are French Bulldogs he's judging here, and these had a quite a big entry at the show. Some of them have traveled from as far away by private jet from Moscow. Some of them have come from Italy, some Irish, some English. So the competition here would be really very hot, and I'd expect a special dog to come out of this. Hi, Estelius. Nice to meet you. How are you getting on here? The dogs very good? Well. Huh? They're very nice dogs, beautiful dogs, international, from many different countries. Will you produce the best in show winner from this class today? Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe because some of them, they really look nice, of high quality, in international standard and level. All right, we're getting there. <laughs> How are you? I'm Russian, mad, crazy. No look for Michael and Jeff with the Bichon Frise. Now it's all down to the French Bulldogs. What, do, Jeff, what do you want me to do? His name is Kelly. He's from Japan. He is an English champion. And this is his first show in Ireland. I'm starting to wilt a bit now. <laughs> three. That dog never lets you down. He will show and show and show. And he's a sound dog. He just loves the show ring. He always puts up a good show. But you know, the competition, there's some nice dogs out there, so you just don't know. This dog looks quite nice here. 
he, he's waiting to go on the table. I think he's next to go on the table. I think. And then the judge will go over him. He's just looking at his head, looking at his teeth. Look at his body condition. Now we'd probably ask him to move again now. And he's got an excellent. This is a lovely dog. And he's a nice show dog. But he's a lot of supporters. You can hear the, hear the screaming, which I don't really approve of because... When I think about the judge, I would ignore all that. Yeah, the judge should ignore all that screaming that's going on, but it's not necessary. I've always said it's not a soccer match, it's a dog show. <laughs> They're moving him again. We're going to give him a clap when he moves. <laughs> we can do it, Lana. Oh, trying to be loud. Whatever they can do, we can do better. Get out there, Jeff. Get out. He's got third, I think. Third, yeah. He wins some, you lose some. Your bitch coming in? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should show the bitch. I don't know. Thanks for the clap, lads. All I can say is that he showed brilliantly and he moved brilliantly. And he looked lovely. He couldn't have done any more than he did. So. We'll just hope and pray now that Bonnie the bitch will be better. Hopefully. Coming up in part four, Jackie and Harvey battle it out for best in breed. Certain judges go for certain types. So you never know, you just hope that you've got what they like on the day. Michael and Jeff have one last chance with Bonnie, also known as Sexy Style Benita. This is Bonnie. She's from Japan. She's a real showgirl. She loves it. Jackie's daughter, Kirsty, is up before the judges. As a mum, it's very difficult to stand on the outside looking in, waiting to see what's going on. And Sean steps into the spotlight to judge best in show. I know I can't go wrong. It's very simple because these are 10 fabulous dogs. It's the moment of reckoning for the Cocker Spaniels at the European Winners Dog Show. I have to go back in the ring now. All unbeaten dogs go back in the ring to challenge for the Green Star and Best of Breed. Hi. Having won the Kasib Dog title, Harvey is up against the Kasib Bitch, Junior Dog and Junior Bitch. All four Cockers are battling it out to win Best in Breed. Only two steps away from the coveted Best in Show. I would love to be hopeful, but like with the Kasib dog, I didn't expect that. So anything we get is a pure bonus. I'm just pleased with my dog today. I watched mum from afar today because we don't want to be the one at the end of the day to say, oh, you distracted my dog in the ring. And I was nervous for her and I didn't know what else was going to be in the ring. So I was just keeping an eye on her from a close distance to make sure everything was going smoothly and in case she needs anything. Thank you very much. That was good. Beaten by the younger dog on the day. Lovely dog from Scotland. But uh, no, delighted. He's got reserve best of breed. Uh, reserve green star dog. Brilliant, great day. So delighted with him. Hey. <laughs> Did you just go in? Is, yeah, Izzy was third in our class. Oh, right. And Harvey got reserved best of breed to Wilma's dog. Oh, right. So reserved green star. So delighted by that. Yeah. So, uh, That's it, is it? Yeah, we're finished. What about you? Uh, no, Cara? she's just about to go in now. I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. All right, so she's not been in yet? Oh, yeah. So no, I'll go back. okay, all no right. problem. All right, all right. I thought she'd been in. <laughs> I thought no news was good news. You know, you sort of. <laughs> So it's, it's all down to James now as to what he's doing out there, but I don't know, so no doubt we'll find out shortly. <laughs> James is my best friend. 
He's an English Springer Spaniel and he's five years old. His show name is show champion Monarch James Brown of Rushmi and he's been the top Springer here for the last four years. When I was 14, I won the Top Irish Show Dog Award with James because I was the youngest person to ever do so. And so that meant yeah, he was the top um, show dog in Ireland for all the breeds. He also won a Best in Show Award as well. So, and he's won a lot of gun dog groups. So he's been doing very well. He's very good. Um, he's very loving and he's just, he's great company, full of energy. No, he has no bad habits at all. <laughs> I'm feeling fine at the moment. I'm not very nervous at all because it's such a big show. It's just nice to be showing here. Um, so no, no nerves. They can still show it all, but none yet anyway. <laughs> this is Bonnie, and she is a French Bulldog. She's from Japan, same owner as the dog. She's a real show girl. She loves it. And Jeff's going to show her, and he's tired as well. And we're both losing the will to live. <laughs> Special class we have today for Irish breeds is the parent and pup class. So you're talking about an adult dog, maybe three or four year old, and his uh, offspring, maybe his daughter or his son. So it's a novelty class, something a little bit different. My wife, Cathy, who has been secretary of the Irish Breed Society for over 25 years, has the honor to judge this class today. So hopefully it turns out well. Is it nearly ready for you yet? They're not here. They've None all gone home. None I'm so them. disappointed, yeah. No Irish, no red setters, no nothing. No red set. they've all gone home. The weather's too hot for the dogs and they still have a lot of travelling to do to various different countries, so you can understand they would want to rest their dogs today rather than bring them out again. So I am now redundant. <laughs> So you can have a glass of wine now? I can now have a glass of wine and thoroughly enjoy a glass of wine. Did you bring my dicky bow? No. <laughs> no. And you won't get it now because the roads are all blocked. <laughs> the cars can't get in. Where's the wine waiter? <laughs> I'm still fine. No nerves. No point in being nervous. Because if you're nervous then they'll go down the lead and make your dog nervous. So. No point in nerves. They do sense how you're feeling. I mean, when you win a prize, and like obviously you get excited, so the dog can feel it and he gets excited as well. But then if you're nervous, the same thing happens, he'll get nervous as well. So just try and keep calm and. Don't you? Yeah. James is up against his younger brother, the Pied Piper of Kerryjoy, another champion Springer. Let the battle commence. I don't get terribly nervous, but I do get very nervous when I'm watching the girls show. As a mum, it's very difficult to stand on the outside looking in, waiting to see what's going on. So sometimes I actually prefer to be away from them and, and not always know <laughs> or see what's, what's going down. It's an adrenaline rush, really. I mean, because when he's so proud of himself and like full of himself, it makes you kind of proud of him so I mean you're going in there with your head held high knowing that no matter what really he thinks that he's winning anyway. I'm very tired. <laughs> Other than that I'm fine. Not a bother. No, I'm not disappointed to be honest. It was his brother that beat him, so I mean, no, no disappointment. They're quite similar in type, so I mean, it's just whoever prefers which one really, so yeah. No, they both did really well. It's the champion bitch stage for the French Bulldogs, and Bonnie, professionally known as Sexy Style Benita, is Michael and Jeff's last chance to get within an ass's roar of best in show. You never give up because outside the ring there could be other judges that are judging in the future. And they see your dog and they may not necessarily agree with the judge either, or they may agree. So you never really stop showing your dog until the judge is finished with you, whether you're first or last. Until the fat lady sings, the show is never over. Oh, 
Jesus Christ. It just gets worse. I think he's just knackered now, to be honest with you. I think it's time for a Yeah, yeah, I think it is. Oh, cheers. Hi. What we normally do, good or bad after judging, we just sit down and chill out for 10 minutes. You know, we're not one of these moody buggers that moans about it. We just get on with it. I would say the standard of judging is not what we're used to. And, and not the, all the, judges. the problem is there's a lot of, a lot of the judges that we've had have not been people who I feel familiar under, with our understand breed. the breed. French Bulldogs, you can't just judge like, like you can some breeds as a whole. The, the, the two, they're too intricate. The head's very intricate and the, the, the shape and everything else is, is very intricate. So that leads to uh, strange decisions, shall we say. That's enough we're all going to say on that matter. By mid-afternoon, all the best in breed winners are whittled down to just 10 best in group finalists. These top dogs will all compete against each other for the title of best in show. Here in the main ring, Sean has managed to rustle up a dicky bow and is about to kick off the main event with an old friend of the Kennel Club. We are pleased to welcome Mr. Bertie Ahern. Bertie's been a great benefactor for this uh, Irish Kennel Club over the years and he's attended many of our functions so we're just going to give him a little presentation to thank him for all his help to us over the years. So, and thanks for your support. When we really need his support, well, you're well, a great help. Listen, well done, congratulations. Yeah. Thanks very much. The Irish Kennel Club I know very well and they're out beside me in Santry so way back when I was Taoiseach when they were organising this particular competition, they were working me in to help to try and get the bid. So it's, it's great, it's been a huge success for them. I think the dog show had grown and grown, there's an enormous amount of interest in it. But to be, to be able to, to organise it on this scale and to bring so many people to Dublin has been a, a, great, a great feat by the Irish Kennel Club. I think quite a lot of uh, the dog people, they always look for characteristics in dogs and Bertie is considered to have eyes a, a bit like a Siberian Husky. They're kind of fluorescently blue. So particularly some of the girls said he has this ability with his eyes like a Siberian Husky to fix you with those nice light blue eyes. I had Labradors for years. Uh, I always went for the dog that I wanted to go out running with and walking with. I put a lot of effort into my Labradors over the years, but it's, uh, it, it kept me sane when I was busy. <laughs> After one more photo opportunity, Sean hands over the FCI flag to the Slovenian Kennel Club, who will host the European Winners Dog Show in 2010. Thanks very much, Plaz. All the best. I hope it goes really well for you. Will you give a very, very warm welcome, please, to the president of the Irish Cannon Club, Mr. Sean Delmar. Sean is never nervous before he judges. He absolutely adores dogs. He's at home, comfortable with them. He will enjoy this. Not a nervous bone in his body. I know I can't go wrong. It's very simple because these are 10 Fabulous dogs, all of great quality. It's just a matter of personal opinion and performance related maybe and something that really sparkles. So, uh, yeah, it's great to have this type of power in your hands, you know, it really is. Certain judges go for certain types. So you never know, you just hope that you've got what they like on the day and uh, hope for the best. This type of a thing is bittersweet because unfortunately you have to give a lot of dogs nothing, you know. So I only had four placings and I'm leaving out six dogs there that are of the highest level and quality. And I know they're all best in show winners and other occasions. You know, as long as the dogs look well and they show well, that's as much as you can do. The rest, you, you, the rest sure. is up to the judge. You, you, can't, you can't do any more than that. You, know, you, you can't make them jump through hoops. Today it was my turn. Performance based. The ones I thought had the quality, that's the ones I placed. Fourth place, ladies and gentlemen, goes to the Afghan Hound. The Afghan Hound, they have this uh, glamorous thing about them, the long coat and the way they gait around with the tail crooked up. I couldn't fault the dog. Pure style moving around. Excellent, excellent. Third place, the Pekingese. The third place, the Pekingese, beautiful. You, could you see the condition in that coat? The amount of time and effort and work went in. Really beautiful, highest quality. 
Now we have the American Akita. The second one was really very close with the first one, which was the Akita. Uh, a lovely form dog, moving around with real style. Really excellent. Best in show, the Mar Fox Terrier. The Wire Fox Terrier was pure quality with a perfect coat and perfect colouring in her body and the most exquisite expression. Beautiful, couldn't have asked for more. Could do different if I came back ten minutes later between those four. Really could. It's that like that. Sometimes the last minute they just catch your eye. You can't always win, but at the same time you're still disappointed. But I mean, it's been a good day really. You know, it's Good atmosphere here. The weather helps, of course. And the Guinness. And the Guinness, of course, helps. When you, when you have time. <laughs> well, I had one. <laughs> I wouldn't mind actually coming back as a dog if it was in the Rush Me Kennels, because <laughs> sometimes I wonder who gets looked after better, them or me. <laughs> <laughs> Always you. Oh, yeah. <laughs>